Oceans cover 71% of the Earth's surface. Haven't you ever wondered what life is like under the sea? Maybe it's time we check it out. Wow, look at how biodiversity just steps off the beach and just centimeters under the surface. Incredible. Let's explore some more. Hey, what's that over there lying on top of the coral? Let's get a little closer. I think it's a green turtle. We're lucky to see one considering they're so endangered. It's so beautiful. Why, thank you. <gasps> what brings you down here? I've spent my whole life on land. I wanted to know more about what was under the sea. Well then, let's go. Go where? To explore the coral reef, of course. Come on, just swim along beside me. This reef is part of the coral triangle. You're lucky you dropped in here. This area is quite healthy. We have such a fragile ecosystem. Enjoy the breathtaking beauty while you can. But be sure to just look. Don't touch. Especially that guy. Do you see him? That's a well-camouflaged scorpion fish. And right over there, that's a stonefish. There's life everywhere on a healthy reef, whether you can see it or not. So just look, don't touch. Many are frightened by eels, but look at this beauty. The white mouth mora eel. She's not interested in you. But if you stick your finger in her mouth, that's a different story. And there, staghorn coral, some of the fastest growing coral on reefs. And look who found a little hiding place. A puffer fish. Not the best of swimmers, if I do say so myself. Hey, look what else is here. Porcelain crabs. Investigate one little spot on the reef for long enough and you will see a plethora of living things. Looky here, a cephalopod. See him under there? That's an octopus, all right. So shy. Now these two, they aren't shy. I'm sure you're familiar with Nemo. Well, here is a pink anemone fish. There are 28 types of anemone fish, but most only know Nemo. Such a great symbiotic relationship they have with their anemone. You can often find little creatures in soft corals. Look at this orangutan crab in the bubble coral. Oh wait, there's another one. Cute little guys. Speaking of little guys, that's a juvenile emperor angelfish. Another shy one. Juveniles try to stay hidden and out of trouble. Well, 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 if it isn't my old friend the hawksbill. Not many of them left around these days. They're critically endangered. I'll never understand it. Let's join them for a bit of lunch. We turtles play an important role in the reef community by keeping things healthy and balanced. If the hawksbill didn't chow down on the sponges, then the sponges could suffocate the reef. As I'm a green turtle, my preferred lunch consists of seagrass. Time to keep moving. Hey, wait for me. Entering Rainbow Runner Alley. Take it all in, kid. Have you ever been surrounded by so many fish? It's magical. Hey, who are those big guys? Big guys? You want to see the Pelagics? Why didn't you say so? Let's go! Hey, wait up! Behold, the great manta ray, the ballerinas of the sea. Sadly, the manta ray population is rapidly decreasing. Such a graceful creature. I could watch them all day. But let's leave them be. I think you'll be surprised by what I want to show you next. This area looks like it's deserted. Looks can be deceiving. Just look carefully. See here? One of my favorites, a leaf scorpion fish. Patiently waiting for suitable prey to come by. Beautiful. And here? The not-so-beautiful snake eel. And the ever-so-real hippocampus cuda, the common seahorse. Can you see that little one? Over there. A baby cuttlefish. Have you ever seen anything so cute? Besides a baby turtle, that is. And look who has come out to say hello. Mr. Mantis Shrimp. Oh, he doesn't look too happy to see us. 
Maybe we should head back. But it's incredible down here. I don't ever want to leave. Well, hmm. I think I see your next guide. Where? Right there, in the gray. A shark? You've got to be kidding. Sharks have a bad reputation with you people. I don't get it. Contrary to what you may think, sharks are not man-eaters. They are the most intriguing and majestic of the creatures in the sea. They are the apex predators, and they play an extremely important role in the ocean ecosystem. In actual fact, humans are a much greater threat to sharks than they are to you. I think you should spend some time with this white-tipped reef shark and get to know a little more about sharks and their role in the ocean. Swim along now.